Welcome. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to replace a multi-line controller, otherwise known as an MLC. MLCs can be found in several different displays across Actronics, and the technique for replacing it applies to all of those displays. To begin, you'll want to use an 8th inch T-handle or Allen wrench to remove the module in front of the MLC. For component locations, you can refer to the display manuals and they give you a general idea of where the components are located in the display. If you don't have your display manual, you can refer to Dactronics.com and look in the support section to obtain the display manuals. When you remove the module, make sure you disconnect all of the ribbon and power cables and fully pull that module out of the display. Allowing the module to hang by any ribbon or power cables could cause additional failure. Here I can see my MLC. It is in an enclosure. Uh, for the, since about 2008, most of the electronics controllers and MLCs have been put into environmental enclosures to keep dust and debris off of them. Uh, it looks like for ease of replacement, I'm going to go ahead and remove the module below this as well. Now to access the MLC inside the enclosure, there's two little twist locks that you just twist 90 degrees. That unlatches them and then you should just be able to pull that cover right off and out of the display. And here we have our MLC. You can see that there's several cables attached to it, so it's probably a good idea to label the cables to the location that they go to for ease of replacement when you put in the new component. Once you have them labeled, you can go ahead and just disconnect all the cables. Now that I've got all the cables disconnected from my multi-line controller, I need a 5 16 nut driver to remove the nuts holding on the MLC to the back panel. Now that I've got all my mounting nuts removed, I can go ahead and remove the MLC from the display. Now I'm ready to install my new one. To install your new MLC, simply follow the steps in reverse. Begin by carefully inserting the MLC into the enclosure and then using all of the mounting nuts that you removed from the previous step to remount the new one. It's very important to use all of those mounting nuts and on the locations. Now that I got the new MLC mounted in place using all of the hardware, I can proceed with reinstalling all of the signal and power cables. Next step of the process is to make sure that all of your cables are neatly tucked into that foam piece at the bottom of the enclosure. That foam piece is really what keeps the dust and debris that may build up in the cabinet off of the electronics, extending the life of the electronics. Next, we're going to put the cover over, over top of the enclosure. When reinstalling the cover, make sure that none of the cables get pinched or crimped. Now that everything's installed, I'm ready to put the modules back in the display and fire it up. Now that I've got my modules reinstalled, I want to run my hand over the display face just to make sure that they're not protruding and that tells me that those modules are fully latched. The next step of the process is to fire up the display and make sure everything's working again. And here's a tip. If you turn the display on and your content doesn't look like it's showing correctly, make sure you got the ribbon cables plugged into the right locations.